So today a lot of people lately have been requesting a video on how I store my cloth pads. So I will be doing that. Um, and I have a lot of cloth pads, as you can see. Yeah, and they're awful. <laughs> I have over 200, and um, I will be doing, like, major destashing. Well, not major. I'll probably be giving, like, 50, maybe, to um, my sister and my nieces. But this is just how I organize mine. I had to buy another like container on top of my three drawer I think it's a Sterilite maybe um either way I got everything at either Target or Walmart and then up here is where I store um and there's a piece of cardboard in the middle I'm not sure if you can see just so they don't fall on each other but up here I have all of my light day pads my menstrual cups reusable tampons, um, my diva cups in here, and then on the other side is all of my panty liners, and that's all I keep in here. The next drawer is, well, the blue bin that I showed you. That has all of my panty liners except the silver liners because they wouldn't fit in there. So, this right here has, I'm just going to turn it upside down so you can see. This has all of my silver liners. Um, from here back are my regular tape pads, and then these are my silver liner panty liners, which I'll be doing a separate video after this for my updated silver liner stash. Um, the next door, which, let me see. Okay, these are all of my regular day pads right here and then any of the inserts that go with the pads in this drawer I put right here on top and I will be doing an updated stash video I have one Luna pads order coming in though so after that gets here it'll be my completed stash which is huge I know I have problems okay these are all of my super pads as you can see, there is a whole lot. Um, and then in the very bottom is my, like, postpartum or night day pads. And since we are um, going to have a baby one day, we're actually trying right now, this drawer will become um, a lot fuller. I actually have a list of new, or when I get pregnant and closer to the end of the pregnancy, of the pads I'll be buying for postpartum. But that is how I store my cloth pads. Um, if you watch my how I wash my cloth pad videos, you'll know how I store the dirty ones. Um, I have basically a container under my sink, my bathroom sink, which I put all my dirty pads in. And when I'm not on my period, what I do is I, because it has a lid, I'll put my rock and green shake it up and my bunch of farmer stick and just store that in there and then I'll just sit that to the side when I do have my period. Um, and then my soap uh, bucket or actually like one of the really cute trash cans that Target had when they had the college, um, like all their college stuff for kids going to college. It's already done there, I've been that or been there and done that, um, but I thought it was cute, so I keep that beside this jumongous stack right here, and this goes in our closet, thank God we have a huge walk-in closet so these will fit, um, I just, there's a big space in the closet that I don't have anything in, and I just set these there, and um, there's a rack on top of it, and I just like put the empty hangers on the rack on top of it so everything's nice and neat. Um, but yeah, that is how I store my cloth pads. If you guys have any questions or um, anything like that at all, don't be afraid to ask. Bye, guys.